everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 1999 movie Dogma. The movie is written and directed by Kevin Smith, and um, follows Bethany, who is chosen by God to go to a church in New Jersey to stop two angels from uh, returning to heaven. They found a loophole through uh, the dogma of the church. And, uh, if they re-enter heaven, then, and everything, then it'll wipe out existence and everything. Uh, she's joined on her journey by Rufus, the 13th Apostle, Jay and Silent Bob, who are the prophets, and, uh, Serendipity, who is the muse of creative inspiration and everything. Um, and, meanwhile, uh... Azrael is trying to find her too to kind of stop them from letting them in and uh, everything. Uh, this is a this is a pretty interesting movie um, and everything. This is one of the ones that I've seen quite a bit and everything. It's not one of my most favorites of Kevin Smith's movies. In fact, up to this point, it's my least favorite out of the ones I've watched. Because I haven't watched all these movies in a really long time, so it kind of feels like I'm re-watching them all for the first time. Because some of them I've only seen once and everything, but this is the one I've seen the most and everything. So this one isn't one of my most favorites because I used to watch it all the time because of my, of my brother and everything. But it has a pretty good cast. Uh, ben Affleck and Matt Damon play... Uh, Bartleby and Loki who are the the angels that are trying to get back into heaven and their chemistry is great as it as always and everything that they always work really good together um, Linda Fjord and Tino plays uh, uh, Bethany and she, she's she's good too I, I liked her quite a bit I thought she fit the role really well um, Chris Rock plays Rufus the 13th Apostle, and he's pretty funny in this movie. I, I really like Chris Rock in this movie. This is one of my favorite movies of of his. Um, Alan Rickman plays Metatron, who is the voice of God, the voice of God, and the one that kind of sends Bethany on the journey and everything. And he, I I think he's pretty funny in this movie and everything. It's really weird seeing him in a movie like this after course watching him in Harry Potter my entire life and everything so every time I watch this movie it's always weird and everything seeing him in this movie but he, he's really good at it I mean he was a great actor so what do you expect Jason Lee plays Azrael and he's really good too I, I really liked him in this movie thought he fit the the role really well and everything um Salma Hayek plays Serendipity, and she's really good, too. The chemistry between all of these actors is really good. And of course, Jason Mewes and Kevin Smith return as Jay and Silent Bob, and I think they're both great in this. This is the most, up to this point, it's the most screen time that Jay and Silent Bob had gotten in a movie and everything, and I thought they were great in this. Um, and then singer Alanis Morissette plays God and everything, and she she's good, too. Um... But all of the cast is really good in this movie, and I, I do enjoy this one a lot, but it does kind of feel like it's over long, like the, the, this one's a little bit over two hours and everything, and it just is his, one of his longest movies and everything, and I just feel like that the running time was a little too long and everything, it got really slow paced in parts of it and everything, and there were some things that I didn't like about it, but mainly like this, there was this poop monster type thing and I, I thought it was not only gross I thought it was just kind of dumb I don't I'm not really into poop jokes so and stuff like that I just felt like that 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 didn't really land I didn't think that that was very amusing or anything like that um although the special effects on that were really good though because I mean yeah that's one of the reasons why it looks so gross and everything is that it did have good special effects and everything but another reason this isn't one of my most favorites is this one does feel uh, doesn't have that independent feel like most of Kevin Smith's other movies do 
and everything. Even Jane and Silent Bob Strike Back has an independent feel to it, but this this movie feels more Hollywood and everything, and uh, I, I think that's one of my reasons for it not being one of my most favorites and everything, but I, I do enjoy this movie and everything, and like I said, it's just one that I've seen so many times that it probably is one of the re that's probably one of the reasons why I don't like this one as much. My brother loved this movie when we were in our teens and we used to watch it all the time and I think that's one of the reasons why this one's just not one of my favorites anymore and everything. I do also love the dialogue in this. I mean that's one of the things that Kevin Smith always delivers is really good dialogue and there was a lot of good dialogue scenes in this movie. Like I said it's just I think the running time just kind of kind of was different and the cinematography is done by someone else and who Kevin Smith normally worked with at that time and you could really tell on that too because like I said this movie felt like a like a big budgeted movie and everything and I also but I did also uh, gotta say I loved Howard Shore's score I thought he did a really good job on the score for this movie and this, this one is kind of like a mixed bag for me because there are a lot of things I like about it but there's also things I don't like. I said it's mainly the pacing, though. There, there's some times where I think it just seemed like things went on a little too long or anything. And it, yeah, but it, it, it was a it, it is a decent movie. It's just not one of my most favorites in his and in, in this uh, View Q Universe series or uh, movies that Kevin Smith directed. Um, I don't think it's terrible or anything like that by any means. Um, but, uh, th there, like I said, th there are a lot of things that I do and don't like, and as somebody who's religious, I, I can understand why religious people were against this movie and everything. Um, I personally, it doesn't really bother me, I mean, it's just a movie to me, but I, I can understand, I guess, why people would get mad about it. I don't think that Kevin Smith deserves death threats and stuff like that for it and everything. I don't think this movie was as bad as all the people were saying back when it first came out it, the big controversy and everything but uh, I can understand why they didn't like it and everything though um, but m my problems with it are more that it just doesn't feel like a regular Kevin Smith movie and everything except for the dialogue I mean that's really the only thing that Phil's Kevin Smith about this movie, the dialogue and the cast, I mean, because a lot of these are people that he worked with, and there's cameos from Jeff Anderson and Brian O'Halloran, and uh, I also thought it was cool, there was a cameo by George Carlin, and uh, a lot of cool cameos in this movie, but it's just not one of my most favorites and everything, um, and I'd, I'd give it a 7 out of 10, because I do enjoy it. And everything, but this is just, it's one of those movies I've seen so many times that I don't enjoy it as much as I used to, and everything, I don't think it's necessarily a bad movie, because it, it is pretty well made, and everything, it just, and like I said, it doesn't feel like a Kevin Smith movie, because it's, it doesn't have that independent feel to it, and everything, but, uh, anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of Dogma, I know this one is pretty popular, I think, I think it, a lot of people really like this one a lot, and everything um so let me know in the comments what you think of this movie and i hope you enjoyed this video and uh have a good day everybody